Hey, Tom Donnie from Port Dodge, Iowa, looking at another Saab. This is a new engine I just bought. It's been rebuilt by uh, another guy. And uh, the first thing I noticed when I got it home is it was supposed to have the correct head on it. At least I thought it was. I, I don't, but it's not the correct head. Um, if it's a GT block, we should be the 732515 for a Monte, excuse me, Monte Carlo block. And this head's a 7320129. And the head really should be a 7320129. And we go on our chart and take a look, and we can see the correct number for Monte Carlo is a 7310129. I do have a copy of this chart on my website. But uh, what we're going to do is, as I spun this engine over to do a compression test, I had real low compression, 70 pounds on, on the rear, 76 in the middle. Had pretty decent in the front, 100. Uh, which is probably pretty good for a uh, low compression head. And actually, this low compression head is a pretty good combination on a Monte Carlo GT block, less chance of detonation. Um, but what I noticed when I spun this over by hand, I could feel the engine catch. It actually stopped. And I was going to run a squish test on it. The squish test, you just use solder. Find the closest size solder that will still squish. Cut it, cut it into either a loop like this or a loop like this. And, when it, and then cut it off flush with a razor blade so you don't end up with a, with a pair of dikes making a high spot for you. And when I do this test, I want to do it even with the wrist pin. So as I come into the cylinder bore here, I'm actually going to be doing right along here, and I want to go even with the with the pin, so that when I come up, it can't rock. If I do it over on this side, the piston will rock and give me an incorrect reading. Saab shows in their book using almost like an umbrella type, so you're doing it with two of them, one on each side. Um, most of the stuff I read says to do it this way. As far as what you should have, most of my engines are so dang modified that I end up somewhere in the you know 40,000 plus range. Um, I'm thinking the factory is probably going to be closer to, uh, you know, probably uh, 55 to 60. They do, in my other videos on YouTube, I've got where we show relieving this area here in the head. Most of these we set down to about 35 thousandths. This engine's been bored to 71.5, which is half a millimeter over stock. And I'm guessing that they never relieve the head. So the piston's coming up because they're proud of the block and it's actually banging on the head. As you can feel it as you spin it over, you can, the engine actually almost physically locks up. Oh, it ties up. I got this in there now, so it's a little tighter. But I can feel it. I can feel it hit all three cylinders. Bang, bang, bang. There's one. There's one. There's one. And uh, the front's barely touching. The other ones aren't t are touching real bad. And I'll just throw this in here quick, and we'll just do a squish. Again, I'm going to go parallel of the parallel of the uh, pin, we'll run it up, and as I spin the motor, I'm, I'm almost, I lock up there on this. So now I take this off and I measure it and see what I've got. This was 63,000 stuff, and um, I'll, I'm going to find that I'm, I'm hitting the block on this one. So anyway, be sure to check your squish when you're done, and be sure that you relieve your head. That's right. If you were to do your head right, you'll be fine, okay? If you get your head relief, factory spec is 28 or .02875. We use. I found most most of them around thirty five thousand. So somewhere between thirty thirty five thousand should be fine. This is Tom Donnie, Port Dodge, Iowa. Signing off.